Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. It's the weekend and time for another DIY box. Today I'm going to make the money bank. Not sure what to expect, but it looks rather simple and have no reference to any previous Karakuri boxes, unlike the string box, Newton box or the spin box. Those I have made already and can be found in the playlist and I have linked it here in the description below. As the name suggests, this box should work as a piggy bank where coins can be placed through the slit. But what is the trick or the mechanism? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so this is how the finished product looks like. A simple cube with a slit on top for the coins. Let's first open up the packaging. And as always, I can never open the cellophane wrap without breaking it, but it doesn't really matter. Then we're greeted with the familiar contents, the wood pieces packed in another wrap, and then a nicely printed instructions menu. Then I'll quickly lay out all the pieces in the required order just to make sure I have all the pieces, and we can start to assemble the box. From the looks of the pieces, it seems this could be a really easy build. The first step is to build the lid. I'm actually quite confused because they have decided to split the lid into two small pieces which requires glue but it seems a little bit redundant as this can be given to us without splitting it so my concern is that the surface is for the glue is relatively small and this may be a weak point but I'll still glue it together The lid is done and now we can move on to the inner box which are just four walls and the base One of the walls is taller and the completed inner box looks pretty good Again, the Karakuri quality is present and the pieces fit very well together. The base has a circular dent in the middle which faces the bottom and the hole is for the spring. But when I place the spring inside it, it's actually a bit loose. We'll see if this causes any problem later. Then next is the outer shell. This time one of the four walls is shorter and two of the walls have a groove in it for the lid to slide in. The construction is very basic and simple. Now I just have to wait for the glue to dry before putting the whole money bank together. At the same time I'll quickly pack up. Right, after 5 minutes and the glue is dry, let's assemble the box together. Everything fits very well. The steps to put the box together is rather obvious and in a few steps the whole money bank is done. The spring is pushing against the base of the outer shell and I have to press the inner core down before I can close the lid like so. Once the lid is closed, my guess is that we have to fill the box until the coins build up and at least and the last coin will be used to push the inner box down to free the lid. Then I started to try with the Hong Kong dollar coins and it takes around 8 coins to fill the box up. I guess this works more like a prototype than a proper coin box given its rather small capacity. But it works pretty well and it's quite cool given that you have to fill the whole box before you can take the coins out. Overall, this box is really simple to build. The mechanism is straightforward, so I don't think it is as interesting as the other proper puzzle boxes. However, it has its charm by having a practical use, which is to be a coin bank. And in theory, the box can only be opened when the box is filled. Of course, you can use some tool like a ruler to open it. Anyway, that's the money bank for you. I think this can be a good project for younger kids, but the price may not justify the product itself. If you're interested to get it, I will leave a link in the description below for you to check out and the other DIY kit sets in the Karakuri website. And that is for today's project, which is a sweet and short video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to support my channel. In the meantime, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.